this is simulating a fallen worker from the tower, like a mechanic or electrician or whatever. It's a pickoff uh, because the people that are working up here are on lanyards and if they fall, they're suspended on a lanyard. So most likely dorsal. So time is critical to get them off quickly because that harness hang syndrome or that orthostatic hypotension, whatever you want to call it, will set in in a matter of minutes if they aren't moving their legs. And it, so it's a pickoff. It's supported because our victims, our workers that have now fallen now become victims. Uh, they're suspended on a system. And it's team-based because the people up here, the partners or ski patrol, are going to do the rescue. Specifically, you could call this a, this is what they call a remote access rescue transfer system. We're transferring tension off of their fall and lanyard onto our system using a pre-rigged pre uh, four-to-one change of direction mechanical advantage system. In this case, we have the Petzl Jag. It's a dynamic fixed brake. Dynamic means that the the set of fours here, the mechanical advantage system is the dynamic part, but the brake that is fixed to this dynamic part is the, the ID that's going to conduct the lowering. So the JAG performs the, the line transfer tensioning process, and then the ID in this case is the brake that we lower them to the ground after we've made that transition. So we want to start by setting this up this kit comes with an anchor sling. This is non-adjustable, so you may have to wrap this around a couple of times because we want to maximize the height. So this is our bomber anchor here that we're going to lash to. So if we can get our system as high as possible, that's a plus. You can also use webbing to do it in like a rat three pull two configuration with like a frost variation of a water knot to get everything sucked up. It's really dealer's choice, but establish the anchor system separate from, independent from anything else. Your rescue system is independent from anything else and we want to be as close to plumb line to their system uh, as possible. And we want this thing extended out. These are kind of purpose built. This jag specifically is a one meter or three foot jag when it's extended out. So we want this extended out to start with. And there are a bunch of ways we could connect into our fallen guest or two ways really. One is the clip stick. The other one is just a mechanical rope grab. In this case, the rescue sender. We just want to make sure that our capture, the progress capture on this jag is the tooth cam up here we want to make sure that that is locked um, and we'll capture the progress once we start hauling on this end otherwise if this thing is pinned open let's see if i can show you that if that's pinned open the second we start hauling to transfer the tension and let go it's just going to go right back to where it was so we want to make sure that we depress the button to engage the tooth cam so that we successfully capture the progress we make on the haul and since this is a training environment, we do have the ASAPs on there for our simulated uh, victims. So we're going to place our victim men on their own green lanyard. They're going to descend down uh, to an appropriate height. Um, that's representative. Somewhere in the 10 to 15 foot range is ideal. But in real life, this, this ASAP and that line is not going to be here at all. During training, we always do main and a backup. This cam attached to the beam strap. Uh, and the ID was has his backup. He has this his backup on the ASAP because so it's this a training is, environment. This um, is designed to be. So, yeah, in real life, that Grion that he's suspended on would probably be on the dorsal uh, on his back. So, and he'd be hanging kind of like a dead fish. And now the rest of you are our rope grab. So, just need to see how this works. Okay. I guess if you're seeing red, he's dead. Red, dead. Okay. I don't see red anymore. It seems to be locked in. Yeah. Okay. And you can even you can even move this closer to him. Yep. But when this thing takes his weight, yep. you see these teeth right here. Yeah. That's gonna grab into the rope. And then he's gonna be on the ID. Okay. So from this point, yep. the objective is to get him off of this because we still cannot lower him. So okay. So We've got a mechanical advantage here. Um, we've got a couple larger mechanics, so. Take up on the jag. Yes, the jag him up. You can see slack has been introduced into his lanyard. Okay. And you can unhook him from his fall protection. Right. And he's still has, okay. And so get him. Hand that to him so it doesn't hit him in the face. Oh, thank you. Position that however you need to. Okay, so now I'll just let that hang, Billy. Okay. To the ice. All right, Billy, I'm gonna lower you. Copy, lower.
Okay, so once you see it happen, it's pretty straightforward and simple. So, remote access rescue transfer system. It's a team based supported pickoff for a fallen worker who's now become a victim. Real life, it's only going to be uh, one single rescue line. Um, training, always two lines. You know, just throw 